I'm a protector when it comes to my kids. I've been a protector all their lives. At least I see myself as a protector all their lives. Um, as well as, you know, in my professional life too. You know, I protect the people from all type of situations. From harming themselves to uh, other people harming them or preventing them from being harmed. Yes, I have used, you know, my parenting skills to touch other youth. I have used my parenting skills to help other parents. You know, I'm what you, what people will call me. They look at me like a problem solver. You know, anybody with a problem, you know, even in, you know, the, my family and friends and my, my kids' friends. And, you know, I've had my kids' friends' parents call me and ask me for advice about what they should do about certain situations, you know. So I just consider myself like a, a problem solver because people will have a problem. A lot of times, the first per I'm the first person they think to call, and I just try to help them out, get the best you know, possible, lawful answer I can give them, no matter what situation. Well, being a father, it helps me understand like growing up with my kids you know from infants to teenage years to where they at you know I'm able to understand a lot of terminology because I hear them talking about it around the house or something like that with their friends and stuff like that so when I hear it out in the street I know exactly what it means you know I've had people like how do you know what that means you know I'm like oh I just know you know and on the flip side to that Dealing with certain situations, you know, just for as, for example, if I was in a situation and maybe it was a tragic situation or something bad that happened, and interacting with another parent and them to give me an answer, like, well, I didn't know where my kid was or I thought they was here, that makes me go back home and say, hey, I need to know where you guys at, you know, just shoot me a text so I can know that. You know, if a situation goes on over here, that I know, I know where mine's at. You know? When I work the homicide, is bringing closure to families that um, has lost someone that they care about. That's one of the things. Um, I mean, plenty of you know, families that I've interacted with where we've helped brought closure to them. You know, we can't change the situation, but we made the situation at least hopefully a little better that, you know, if a person was harmed, that, you know, justice was served for them. Um, and dealt with the human trafficking, you know, numerous young ladies, juveniles, you know, um, being rescued or get them out, get them out of that lifestyle. Um, with, with the these jobs, you know, at least with the, the other, the main part, you know, I get the chance to do a lot of community service. I mean, I've done human trafficking seminars at Wayne State, U of M, numerous churches. I've done um, community meetings. I mean, I've talked to city council about it. So I've been able to uh, do a lot of awareness training when it comes to stuff like that. Doesn't have nothing to do with writing tickets or anything, you know, or being in a patrol car. So it's a lot more to certain departments than what people think. I would be, uh, say, communication, understanding, having compassion, um, and still have um, boundaries, you know, when it comes to this job. And that's some of the most important things I, I think that a person should have when interacting with people in many different situations. Um, you have to have an open mind, you know. And like I say, one of the things is just be understanding where a person may be coming through because it, people go through things and you don't know what type of day they're having. You know, 
versus what kind of week they had or what kind of month they had, you know? So you don't treat everybody the same. Everybody's not bad. You know, some people just go through situations or bad times. So I would say to be able to separate and identify and deal with everybody on their individual basis. What I would like a person to know about a person that's in this um, profession is that it's hard because you know you're in that profession that no one really likes you until they meet you. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, I would say the majority would get their life, put their life in danger to save that person or to help that person. Totally strangers, you know what I mean? So I would tell them just to um, take time to know a person first before you judge them. And that would be whether it's my job or any other kind of job or any person you meet in your life. Take time to know them. Don't go in with an assumption of this person is probably this way or probably that because of what they do. That's one thing I would have a person know.